We can describe how an object moves with time by drawing a distance time graph. Distance goes on the vertical axis and time goes on the horizontal axis. And if we looked at this graph, we have a straight line and maybe these are seconds on the horizontal axis, one, two, three, four, and each second goes by, our distance away from home increases. And this might be maybe 10, and this one here would be 20, and so on. And each second we can see that the distance increases by the same amount. We're going at a constant speed. Constant speed. And that's what a straight line means on a distance time graph. Now the steeper this line is, the faster our object will be going. So a line like that would mean that each second that ticks by, we've already done 30 meters in one second, whereas beforehand in one second we covered 10 meters. Maybe that's meters. Time is in seconds. So the steeper the line is, the faster the object. So the gradient or slope of a distance time graph represents the speed of an object. And the steeper the gradient, the faster, the faster the object is. There is a relationship which can tell us the average speed of, a, of an object and the average speed average speed equals the distance traveled divided by the time taken. And that's a useful equation to have up your sleeve. Average speed is distance divided by time taken. And we'll be using this at a, in a later date. So what if we had a line which suddenly, if the line went flat here, what would that mean? Well, as each second ticks by again, how much distance have we covered? Well, we're still at the same distance. So a flat line here means that our speed is zero. We have come to a rest. We have come to rest. We are stationary or we've stopped. We've stopped. That's what the flat line means. Okay, so there we are. I'll see you in the next flashcard.